Today, we will talk about the dollar duration. The dollar duration measures the dollar change in a bond's value to a change in the market interest rate. Dollar duration is used by professional bond fund managers to approximate a portfolio's interest rate risk. It is one of several measurements of bond duration and seeks to quantify the sensitivity of a bond's price to interest rate changes. Dollar duration, also known as money duration or DV01, is based on a linear approximation of a bond's value change in response to interest rate changes. It measures the change in the value of a bond portfolio for every 100 basis point change in interest rates. This calculation requires the bond's duration, current interest rate, and the change in interest rates. While dollar duration is an imperfect measure of interest rate sensitivity, it provides a straightforward dollar amount computation for small interest rate changes. Dollar duration differs from Macaulay duration and modified duration. Modified duration is a measure of price sensitivity to yield change, and Macaulay duration uses the coupon rate and yield to maturity to assess a bond's sensitivity. Whereas dollar duration provides a straightforward dollar amount computation with a 1% change in rates. Dollar duration calculation is an approximation and assumes parallel movements in the yield curve. A limitation of this method is that it also assumes that bonds have fixed rates with fixed interval payments. However, the approximation becomes less of a limitation with a large bond portfolio. Additionally, market conditions and synthetic instruments can affect interest rates for bonds. Here are three key takeaways. One, dollar duration is used by bond fund managers to measure a portfolio's interest rate risk in nominal or dollar amount terms. Two, Dollar duration calculations can be used to calculate risk for many fixed income products such as forwards, par rates, zero coupon bonds, etc. 3. There are two main limitations to dollar durations, it may result in an approximation, and it assumes that bonds have fixed rates with fixed interval payments. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.